My Brother, My Brother Sher Singh's little brother lay in the hut with a pain in his stomach that was getting worse. Sher Singh himself was only about twelve years old, small and cheerful, a child of the jungle. His brother was several years younger. I will wring out rags in boiling water and lay them on his stomach, said his mother. She did not weep. She had lived through everything over and over again. The steaming rags did not help. After a while, Sher Singh's mother said, He must be carried to the hospital at Kalaghat. Then Sher Singh thought that his brother was dying. All jungle people somehow think that the hospital is the last resort of the doomed. I will run for my father, he cried. It may be days before you find him. Sher Singh's father was away in the jungle with a photographic expedition. All the men of Laldwani village too were with the expedition as beaters. Sher Singh looked at his younger brother and saw that he was in great pain. Kalaghat was at least fifty miles away, but Sher Singh hoped that if he could get through the jungle and cross the two rivers in between, he might get a lift in a bullock cart or perhaps even a broken-down truck for the last part of his journey. Sher Singh walked alone, carrying his brother on his back. He walked through the jungle. Night fell. The sky became purple-black. It blazed with stars. Sher Singh had good eyes. He could still see. Presently, the moon rose. The sight of bear tracks in the dust. The square front paw and long back one with the shaggy claws made him glance around uneasily. On a cliff above a riverbed, Sher Singh knew he could go no further without rest. Sweat was running off his shaking flesh. He set Kunwar down gently against a tree. It was then that he heard the jostle and squeal of elephants. Below him, on the riverbed, the elephants travelled. He could see the cows and the babies and one great old tusker. He was playing his trunk to and fro to learn whatever the breeze could tell him. And suddenly he hesitated. The trunk came round towards the boys. Sher Singh chilled with fright. With Kunwar to carry, he could neither climb nor run. The tusker snorted, trumpeted, shook his head. Suddenly he hurried on angrily up the riverbed and all the herd went with him. They disappeared. Sher Singh breathed one more prayer, of thanks this time, and got ready to move with Kunwar on his back once again. He scrambled down into the riverbed. He stepped into the river. The water was cold and deep. Thank goodness there was a bridge at the second river. It was a flimsy thing made of bamboo poles, stones, thick grass and river gravel. But it was, at least, a bridge. He plodded steadily on. Towards midnight, he heard the second river ahead of him. He heard it from far away, a steady roar of flood. When he came out on the shore, he saw it. A big head of snow must have melted yesterday, and here it was. From bank to bank, the river foamed. He looked for the bridge. It was not there. So... Now, how to cross? There was not a chance to swim. Even alone, he would be lost. Perhaps among the wreckage of the bridge, there was a way. Sher Singh gathered grass and plaited it into a rope. He tied the rope round his brother and himself, so they would keep together. Then he entered the water just above the bridge. It was so cold that he could hardly keep his hold. He did not know if his brother lived or died, but he kept the child's head above water and inch by inch moved along. He was deaf 
blinded, frozen and tired. But he went on and on. Then the river seemed to lose power. They were through. After that, Sher Singh did not know what happened. And on, then there was a better road. Far away, in another world, there came sounds heralding a village. Suddenly, somehow, people. After that, the next he knew, they were in a bullock cart. Then a truck. Where have you come from, boy? Laldwani. You carried him alone, across the river in flood. They were at the hospital. Sher Singh always felt shy of big buildings. He did not go in. Much later, the doctor came out on the veranda and said, You are the boy who brought the child in from Laldwani? Yes. Then a smile broke all over the doctor's gentle face. Sher Singh Bahadur, he said. Your brother will live. Come.